buckle make you a badass? F yeah, it does. Hey, you bet your ass it does. For me, like the buckle started before the buckle. It started back when it was this big, really cool eagle statue. The first Sick Bird Award that I saw was when I was living with James Heim and Dana Flair and Ian McIntosh, and they were all really decorated big mountain competitors at that time. Dana brought back the Sick Bird from Snowbird one year, and it was a statue. And it was like something that we put on the mantle, and it was a big deal. I guess from that point on, it was a goal of mine to earn the Sick Bird. The Sick Bird Award, it sort of represents the unbridled, untamed nature of free skiing. Regardless of the score, you know, you were just recognized for being a badass ripper on that day and throwing it out there. The Sick Bird, to me, means a lot. You always remember when you won your buckle, it meant more than winning, for sure. The night that I won my buckle, I heard my name go across the speakers, and, and you could have given me first place that day and, and a check twice as big as I got, and it wouldn't have felt as good as getting that buckle. I skied really for the sick bird for a bunch of years. I'd try to line up as many jumps as I could in every single run and was always just trying really hard for it. But that never really won me the sick bird buckle. And I, I was waiting. I was waiting for that sick bird cry. And you want to hear that because it's instant credit for what you just did. You know, whether you get the buckle or not, and then just a sick bird nomination alone, that feels good. Snowbird that year, it was an air that I've wanted to hit. A lot of times I've seen a couple really awesome skiers and snowboarders hit it and it's really just an awesome move. It's scary, but it, it totally goes. And for me to actually like stomp it two times in a row, mentally and physically when it all happens is a beautiful thing. You know, the best feeling in the world. You just have electricity coming out of your fingers and you can't really explain like the energy. And Rebel Stoke 2012, I just, I put a lot of pressure on myself that day. Probably the biggest, like, vertical comp run I ever did. It was no more than 2,000 feet. It was a huge line. And what won me the sick word buckle was just, I think I did put all the elements in place. You know, I picked the line that had the good light. I picked the line I could ski fast. I made sure there were jumps I could stomp. That was it. I, I skied Rebel Stoke just from the heart that year. There's no formula for it. You just don't know. When you see somebody do it, you know they deserve it. Oh, definitely after I won, I wore it all the f time. I wore this buckle every day for three years. It was a daily reminder what I can accomplish. You can't really put your finger on it exactly. You can't say, oh, here's a formula for the sick bird buckle. Like, what earned you a sick bird award in 2004 was really a lot different than what earned me my sick bird buckle in 2012. The one consistent thing is, is the spirit. The spirit of the person that wins that buckle someone that just was having a really good time on that day. I'm not sure if people in general give me more respect now that I won a sick bird buckle, but I definitely feel like I earned my own respect. It felt good to win. Now, like, I, I save my buckle. I wear it on special occasions. I wear it on powder days for sure.